Who's ready for a good old in-depth eyeshadow tutorial? I get a lot of questions about the nitty gritty of how I do my eyeshadows, what tips and tricks I have. So I wanted to share that with you today. A huge thank you to Bethlin for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to be sharing with you some of their eyeshadow palettes. I'm excited to share these with you. I've been testing them, of course. You guys know I would never take a partnership if I didn't enjoy the product. And these I'm excited to share with you because they are affordable and they are are stunning for those of you that are looking to play with color. I think this is a really neat formula to try out. So first, let's take a look at the two eyeshadow palettes. We will start off with the smaller one. So this is the Befflin Smoky Rose palette. So it comes in this very sleek and quite weighty outer packaging. If you need to take a look at anything on the back, it is right here. And look how stunning this palette is. So this is going to be for my neutral lovers. You can even tell by the way that they look in the pan that these shimmers are going to be high quality. They look super rich. And the other palette that I'm gonna talk about, and this is gonna be the star of the show today. I plan on using this for today's look. This is the Spice palette, and I know a lot of you are gonna have fun with it. The price for what you get in this is unreal. Okay, pause. I am going to not tell you the price right now, okay? I'm going to show you how it performs, and then I'm going to tell you the price of these. All I'm going to say is right now, you're welcome. I will be back to shock you. Okay, let's go. <laughs> So I thought it'd be fun to teach you guys how to do a colorful look because this way you won't break the bank if you've been wanting to experiment with colors. Let me give you a quick look. I'll go more into depth in it in a second, but this is what this one looks like. Lots of color, lots of fun. I think I'm gonna start off by swatching the Smoky Rose. For those of you that are neutral lovers, I think you will enjoy this one. One thing that I notice with affordable palettes, sometimes the formulation can be chalky, not this at all, but you can see by the swatches how smooth everything is going. I know this video is sponsored, but I'm not just saying this, you guys. You see these shimmers. These are performing like high quality shimmers. So that is the rose palette. Let's get into the big guy. So for my color lovers or beginner to color, this is the palette that I would recommend to you. It really is just the best bang for your buck. And when you open it, look at all of these options. <gasps> there is so many. And it covers a lot of the color wheel here. And something that I also did want to point out, you can see these little divots here. You can pull the eyeshadows out and mix and match with them how you want. The Rose palette also has this. So if you want some more colorful shades in this palette, if you happen to buy both, you can put these colors in here and vice versa. So you can DIY the palette, make it how you want. I always appreciate that. As somebody who has been a working makeup artist for the last four years, sometimes picking and choosing colors is just more convenient. So, so to me, the fact that they offer this, again, it's a really high-end experience, so I'm shocked at how they keep the prices down. Love that they add the little finger divots in here. Taking a closer look at this palette, there's something really unique here that I wanna share with you. If you look at the shade right here, there is actually a primer. The brand suggested that I try out this primer by putting the eyeshadow on top and giving it a waterproof test. Okay, listen, just watch. So the primer is really unique having it there in the palette. Not a lot of palettes contain that. So on my demo, I'm applying the primer to the top of my arm and I'm going in with the shade Fire and I'm putting it below the primer so you can see the shade without a primer. And then I am putting the shade Fire on top of the primer. And you can see the pigment with putting the eyeshadow over the primer. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Now, I am spraying my arm with water, you guys. And this part even shocked me. I wasn't even lightly wiping. I was wiping with water on my arm and you can see the shade without the primer underneath. It's fading, whereas the shade with the primer underneath, it's not budging. I'm so impressed by this. <laughs> After using the eye primer, your eyeshadow can stay on for many, many hours. I claim up to 24. I don't wear my makeup that long, so I cannot confirm nor deny. And as you can see, it's waterproof. I live in Miami. I'm very sweaty. <laughs> I go in the pool, all of that. This is going to help ensure that my makeup is not going to come off in these wet conditions this summer. 
So I forgot to do live swatches of the spice palette, so I filmed this after the fact, but I just wanted to show you how each of these shades swatched and so you could get a better feel of the texture. So we're starting off with the yellows and the greens in these swatches. The shimmers are giving, like they are swatching so nice. And then here is a final look at the purple, pinky, blue section, which you guys know I'm definitely playing on this half. All right, guys, let's get these eyeshadows on my eyes. I'm going to do one eye first so you can see what we're working with, and I'll be back to show you how I did it. So this look is very classically Morgan, okay? I love my purples, my pinks, and my blues, so that is exactly what I wanted to do for today's look. I love the layout of this palette, that it is just a gradient style. So for those of you who are getting into color and you aren't as experienced with color theory, this does the work for you. If you blend the pink and the purple together, they're not going to get muddy. If you blend the purple and the blue together, they're not going to get muddy. The blue and the green, etc, etc. So if you always find that your shades get muddy, this is a great guide to kind of help you. So if you use the colors in the same row or the same column, you're good to go. I'm going to start off by going into Barbie right here, which is a nice light pink. And I'm going to start this off in the inner half of my crease. Just like so. I always find pink to be a versatile transition color. It blends well into a lot of shades. So I tend to start off with a pinky based shade a lot. And I'm just going to copy what I'm doing with my crease on the lower lash line. And I'm putting the pink in the inner third of the lower lash line as well. And we're going to come back and build this up periodically throughout the look. So keep that brush beside you. Taking color theory into consideration, I'm going into the shade lilac right here. So we have a really nice pastel purple. Pretty impressed with the pigment on this, right? Some shades could, like these can be hard to use, but I mean, the proof is in the pudding. This is just beautiful. I'm going to pop that in the center of the lower lash line. If I had it my way for today's look, I would have just used the whole purple column. <laughs> but I wanted to show you a little bit of how the colors worked and how they blended into one another. Then we're gonna finish off with Sky, which is the light pastel blue. And I'm going to press that and blend it out because this is gonna blend out our outer corner color. It doesn't need to be too intense, but it's to help with our blending. And also, surprise, surprise, pop it down here. And then also you could work with this not add too much depth and add like a pretty light pink all over to the eyelid and you could get a gorgeous cotton candy style eye but this is a good start so if you're a beginner with colorful shadows we started with the lighter shadows first because those are going to create a nice base for darker colors to blend on top of which will be easier and it also makes the blend look a little bit more professional next up we're going into ocean right here i'm using ocean to add some depth to the look and a lot of palettes that i've used Shades like these can be disasters, but this one is so user-friendly. There's not a ton of fallout with it. Really easy to blend. Patchiness is what I discovered the most with similar shades like this. Most of the time when brands create shades like this, it's with the pressed pigment formula, and you guys know that makes it harder to work out. But look at this. But this is why I said I feel like this palette is so great for beginners because it just works out so easily. Okay, and then I'm going to go back into the sky shade, which is that light blue, and we're going to use that to help blend out the edges if you need it. You might not even need it. You'll see how pretty and smooth the blend is on the eyes. Don't be afraid to go back and add more of the colors that you think might have gotten lost. Like I want a little bit more of the lilac down here. You might need to put some more of the rose shade in the inner corner, but I think I have a base that I'm happy with. I'm going to use some of the primer that's in the palette on my finger and I'm popping it onto the bare eyelid because I want the shimmer shades to grab onto my eyelid. I'm putting that there and it's amazing. So I'm going to go into icy pink right here with a small brush and icy pink is going to be the inner corner color to kind of highlight the eye and I'm also going to put it under the brow bone. I think that would be pretty. I didn't do it on this eye. And this shade would be pretty all over the eyelid if you wanted, but that laid down nice. And I wouldn't be Morgan if I didn't go for Mystic right here, the shimmery purple. And it's so pretty, you guys. I think with the primer as well, it's just holding on extra good. Look at that. I'm actually going to go in with just a little bit more Barbie, which is that matte pink. So I wanted to show here a little bit more. With my finger, I'm grabbing Grabbing some of late night right here. This is the shade that's gonna blend the purple into the blue. Just like that. Isn't that so pretty? Going to bring some of the blue back. You know, for those of you that aren't 
pros when it comes to blending your eyeshadows and blending different colors together. This is a really great formula that is buildable, it's blendable, it's soft, and the way that the palette lays out I just think makes it very easy to create a look. I've created multiple looks now with this palette. I've loved every single one. Just because of the way it was laid out, it made it very thoughtless for me to create a colorful look, which is not really something that happens commonly with me. <laughs> Normally it takes a lot of thinking for a colorful look, but I've done at least, I want to say four different looks. I'll show you one that I did the other day. Well, two looks that I did the other day. I forgot to take a picture with like lashes and everything, but again, been very impressed and very inspired by this palette. I'm gonna pop on a few extra things and then we're gonna finish with the lashes. I'm back. <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm sure at this point, based on the title, you already know what the price is, but um, can you believe this palette is $10? Like that is insane to me. You saw the performance of those shadows firsthand. You saw the other two looks that I posted a photo of. All the pigment in all of its glory. I feel like I'm doing y'all a favor. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Okay, let's finish off with the lashes. We are gonna finish off with some bomb lashes, which is gonna just transform everything. Bethlehem has a bunch of different lashes to choose from. All of them look great. They have some really beautiful, thick, delicious mink lashes. They also have a lot of gorgeous styles of faux mink lashes. These faux mink ones are the winner. Oh yeah, these look beautiful. I love how they're shorter and then they go out to longer and they have a nice curl to them, which keeps the eyes open. So let me pop these on. I'm gonna trim them really quickly. They've got a pretty good length to them. I feel like they're not too long, but they're still good. If you have longer eyes, you'll still be good. Then if you're opening a new pair, I have like smaller eyes. So I like to give a little bit flexibility. Paint on my lash glue. All right, I'm gonna use air tweezers. and Let me pop these on. Ooh, not to be dramatic, but like, wow, these lashes are gorgeous. Let me pop this on real quick. I'll be right back. Here is the final look. I did not expect these lashes to be so beautiful. They're the perfect mix of dramatic, but still not too dramatic in my opinion. But anyways, I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. I hope you learned a trick or two about blending. Bethlehem eyeshadow palettes definitely have my stamp of approval. I mean, you saw how easy they were to use, how quickly we created this look. I'm gonna have the link down below to the palettes and everything that Bethlehem has to offer. It's definitely worth checking out. And again, a huge thank you to Bethlehem for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel. And thank you all so much for liking this video and being subscribed to my channel and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a good one.